What's up you guys? It's RSpec Nick here. Sorry for the lighting. It's a little cold over here in PA. It's like it's like 18 degrees out right now. Um a little space heater. But all right, so we're going to get down to the difference of one. If you have one of these Tahoe Tahoe BWS 50s, um try to show you where the CDI boxes. So a lot of people are going in through the, like here thinking, "Oh, maybe it's down here by the battery." I can tell you no, it's not. It's not behind the panel here. Actually, I had to follow the wiring up. And it actually is tucked right there. This guy right here is your CD box, CDI box. Now, a lot of people are running with performance CDIs um, and what the difference is, like no rev limits, so on. Um, I actually already bought one. Here it is, one of the blue new racing cdis apparently it's supposed to give you a better better rpm jump in through everything this would be a six pin same thing as this now to get to it if you do have this specific model of the bws 50 all you have to do take the side panels off um unscrew a screw down here there's another one on that side um, the body's just held on by like three side screws. You have one small screw that goes in up underneath the tail light right there. That. Um, and then that basically, you lift up your seat and then it'll run into a side here. Basically, it covers that. There's going to be one there, one there, one there, and then was another one down here. So, now I already went ahead and did that, so I could basically pretty much just show you guys. I already got the whole seat loosened up. Take the seat off. Now when we get in here, you can either go th down in through the back, the back of the engine. You can go in through the side, but I already took it out through the side because it's a, lot, a little bit easier when you, don't have, when you have the seat on. Now it'll have this rubber boot on it. All you gotta do, you can just literally slide this boot off. You got this little rubber flexible boot. Now what you can do is you can take this, put it on your other CDI, just slide it on over it, go like this, and then you can just basically pop it back up in place because there's a little side tab on, on each end. You can just basically open it up a little bit and then slide it up on. So. It would sit on here like this, slide up in place, and then that way it'll keep it, you know, it'll hold it that way. It's not, you know, sliding all over the place and so on. The cool thing about these are, um, you know, it has a cool look to it. It's like an anodized blue. It has some cooling fins. Um, it has a little indicator light whenever it is actually running. Now, you can get these things offline. With there's some with the connectors already attached. There's some that are there's some that are just straight wires, like just wires with like connectors on them that you'd have to actually splice into yourself. So I just opted out and got one of the ones with all the you know four, a one four pin and one two pin connector. Um, disconnecting them super easy. Um, it'll look like this, you know, stock stock CDI box. Now disconnecting them is easy. You have one side here. You pick the pin up, and it'll pull out. Be gentle though, because you can snap those. The other side, same thing. Pull up on it, and you pull out. So there's one. Go on this side, kick the four pin out of the way. Lift up, pull, and then there you go. So then you have your four pin, your two pin, factory CDI box. One of them, Zhang Fang. Definitely, uh, yeah. And then, so you just take this, this one would be for that. Now, this And the difference between your stock CDI box and one of these CDI boxes is apparently this has no rev limit. So it actually allows you to, you know, go up in RPMs, in the whole RPM range. And apparently, that allows you to hit peak power a little bit better. Um, see the little chart there. And like I said, these things, you can buy them. There's a, there's a bunch of them. I mean, there's some 
They're on eBay, Amazon, Google it, you can find a bunch of them. NCY makes some, which is, I guess, a popular brand for scooter parts. Um, now you have Naraku. Uh, I mean, there's just, it's just an endless amount of them. I mean, this one in particular, there's a bunch of these. There's an orange box that looks like this. Apparently, it's a no rev limit, too. I didn't even mess with that. I just was like, oh, honestly, in all honesty, I probably just got it because it looks cool. But, um, yeah. So far, um, I have tried it. Um, me, personally, I haven't noticed any difference with them um, with the stock or aftermarket one. So, I'm guessing more than likely it's probably, if it is a difference, it's not much in between the two. Um, but I am also still messing with it. I have an exhaust on the way, too. I can't wait to actually drop that in because that'll be pretty nice. Um... But yeah, I'll probably end up still keeping this in because honestly, I still like it. And since it doesn't really change performance too, too much, like, I mean, maybe this does have some restriction behind it, but honestly, I haven't noted anything that would, like, it'd be a whole drastic difference if I was like, oh, this thing goes 20 miles per hour and this goes 30. Obviously, you'd want to go with the 30 versus the 20. But overall, it's still about the same performance so far. Um, I got the exhaust coming. So I can't wait to see that. I have a new variator by DLH coming. I have the 50 millimeter or fake 100 cc big bore kit coming, so I can rebuild the engine. So this thing actually does, you know, move along a little bit smoother. Um, probably a little bit later towards spring. We'll probably I don't think you guys can see that, but we'll probably switch these tires out because I mean these tires are just. That's just too much. That's way too off-roady to be a street vehicle. I mean, maybe trucks and stuff can handle that kind of tread, but for something like this, once you actually get going and you get into a higher speed, it gets a little shaky in the front end, so smooth that out. I saw they had tires on there on Google. You can get, like, the two kits. They're, one, they're 120 by 90 by 10s in the front, and then 130 by 90 and by 10 in the back. You can get there's some Michelins. There's some, um, you can get Pirellis, you can get, I mean, there's a bunch of them. I'm, I'll probably go with the set of Kendas, because they, you know, they don't look too bad. And from all the reviews I keep seeing, apparently Kenda Tire makes some good actual scooter tires for these scooters. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be going crazy fast or anything, but at the same time, you know, I want something to be a little bit smooth, but at the same time, I don't want something to blow apart. I mean, if I'm going like, I don't know, if I do build this thing the way I'm thinking about building it, I want to hit at least 50 maybe 60 but i feel like that's dreaming a little too much but yeah i just wanted to show you guys a little bit here on these new cdi boxes uh stock versus the blue one the other one is an orange one there is a red one um there's probably another color one uh, apparently this one's they're all they're all no rev limits but apparently there's different stages or differences between them they probably all are the same, honestly, just packaged differently. Like, this one is probably the same as this, except it's probably packaged differently, and it has a LED indicator light on it that's green, and it lights up whenever it turns on. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if you want to go for that look factor, it definitely does look cool. You know, you got the little side fins cooling. Like I said, I'll go back, sticking this back in, and I'll keep you guys updated when I get the new exhaust put in whenever that shows up um, I'm gonna be throwing on the 80 cc big bore kit I'm gonna be throwing in a 150 cc carb a K&N style air filter um, I want to run a new ignition wires um, I want to do an LED full light swap on the back front turn signals headlights tail lights everything probably new fuel filter and maybe possibly update I'm good. I'm gonna drop in definitely drop into the CVT too for sure um, Because that needs a little work at all But so far we're still we're still pretty young here. We got 325 miles on it we Got about a full tank of gas um, But yeah I'm gonna keep you guys posted when I do more mod just wanted to get you guys a little updated on what's going on here and yeah well if you like the videos Go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more on this scooter build, um, go ahead and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, see you guys.